Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. Uh, now, I know I, I already made a video about the eclipses, uh, the one on August 21st, 2017, and the coming eclipse on April 8th, 2024. And uh, some of that information, or some of this information, may be repeated from the previous video, but uh, I promise you there is more new information that you need to be aware of. Now I prayed on these eclipses and what the Holy Spirit revealed to me was this. After April 8th, 2024, God takes the gloves off and no more will God protect America. No more will God handle America with love and kid gloves. After April 8th, the gloves come off and America is dealt with very harshly. Now, praying for America is like praying for a dead man. The first eclipse in 2017 was a warning. The second American eclipse uh, that was on October 14th, 2023, and this was an annular eclipse, uh, this was just a reminder of the warning that was given on August uh, 2017. But the next eclipse, the eclipse creates a huge black X across America as if the very finger of God was crossing out America. And that is exactly what it is. God crosses out America from being a nation, even from existence. Did you know that from August 21st, 2017 until April 8th, 2024, six years, six months, six weeks, and six days, taking into account two leap years. Now, 666, does that remind you of anything? another warning from God. Uh, this, is, uh, this is very significant and we should not discount these two eclipses as coincidence. Even, even if that was the only fact, but there are many others. Where these two eclipses cross paths is over a region in southern Illinois known as Little Egypt, which was named this because many years ago they had a drought in the area and a famine and people had to leave the area to find food. Now I ask you, doesn't that sound a little familiar? But you uh, also have these cities in the in the area that are named Cairo, Goshen, Carmi, Karnak, Thebes, Star of Egypt, and others, many others that have Egyptian names in the area. Previous eclipses since uh, 1776 have all come to America at a time of war. The Revolutionary War, the Civil War, World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War, to name a few. So does this 2024 eclipse foretell of war in America? The 2017 eclipse darkened seven cities across America named Salem, which was the original name for Jerusalem. The 2024 eclipse will darken seven cities across America named Nineveh. And it will darken one little town in southern Indiana, which is named rapture. And God sent an eclipse to Nineveh before he sent Jonah to preach and prophesy that Nineveh would be destroyed in 40 days if they did not repent of their sins. Now you may ask, do we have 40 days after April 8th? I would not tempt God, not with this. If you are in sin, I would repent of sin now as tomorrow may be too late. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. Also, the huge black X across America relates to a Hebrew letter from their alphabet, the Tav, which is the end. The Bible is full of prophecies for the destruction of, of America, Babylon. Just read Jeremiah 15, 51 and Revelation 17 and 18. And right now, there are more reputable, educated, and informed people from major banks, 
bank presidents, top economists, government leaders, business leaders, who are all saying the same thing. Now these informed and connected people, they are saying that a catastrophic collapse is coming and coming soon. Why do you, th why do you think these people are fleeing the country for places like New Zealand or building underground survival shelters with supplies, power, and amenities enough to last for many years? They know what's coming. Even the Deagle Report website for many years projected by 2025 the population of America would decrease over 200 million people and they would not give a good reason, uh, reasonable answer as to why or how this would happen, only stating that it was coming. Now it seems that everyone is giving the warning, not just watchmen, but even the lost are giving a warning as to what's to come. We must not forget the watchmen who have warned and have since been called home, such as David Wilkerson, Dimitri Dudeman, Henry Gruber, and, and many others. When God called me to be a watchman with dreams and visions, God also commanded me to warn the people. Our time is almost up, so what are you going to do? Hide, run, screaming, curse God. You need to think about this, as this is not a fantasy. This is coming, and coming soon. Now is the time to prepare, and I do not mean with supplies in an underground bunker. I mean with Jesus Christ in your heart. There is no safety or, or salvation except through Jesus Christ. You need to think about where your soul will spend eternity. You need to repent of your sin and admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. And believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God who walked this earth as God in the flesh, who healed the sick, raised the dead, and cast out demons who was crucified on an old wooden cross for our sins, who shed his precious blood for you and for me, and who died so that we might be redeemed back to God. And then Jesus was buried, but on the third day Jesus arose from the grave, and Jesus walked this earth again. And then Jesus ascended up to heaven inside of men, and now Jesus sits on the right hand of the Father, awaiting his glorious and triumphant return to take us home. We all owe a sin debt that we could not pay. So Jesus paid that price that we owed with his life and his very blood. So now we all, all we must do is repent of sin and believe that Jesus is the Son of God and ask Jesus into our heart to be with us, to lead us and guide us and protect us from evil. And pray the blood of Jesus washes over us, covers us, and washes all of our sin away, washes us clean, washes us white as snow. And today, there is much evil, and Satan is in everything. In these last days, even the food we eat, our churches, even our Bibles, and that is why we use only the King James Version Bible, Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So we, we say, say the blessing over every meal, repent of sin every time you pray, and read your King James Bible. These are the last days, and what we and we are that last generation, and so what we say and what we do in these last days is so vitally important. God bless you and yours mightily, and God keep you and yours in His loving arms, just like He held me. Every one of you have been a blessing, a gift from God, and we give thanks to God for sending you our way. And we love you also very much, and we keep all of you in our prayers. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. Praise God Almighty. Praise God Almighty. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I know our time is short, Lord. I know our time is short, Lord. But I will be working right up until that last trumpet blast calling us home, working for you, Lord, to increase your kingdom, working for you, Lord. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, making me a watchman, giving me dreams and visions, and giving me a work to do, giving me a work to do, Lord. I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray, amen, amen, and amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Mmm. Mmm.
Oh, thank you.